Hey guys, it's me, Nicholas Sineke here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. And by a little different, I mean a lot different. So I was doing a gameplay video the other day, and that was the video that was going to be uploaded yesterday, and here's what happened. There we are. It was not on our serving with you, Paladin Cross. Then I thought, man, I should make a review video. But what game? I got it. Sonic CD. So that's exactly what I did. And I actually bought this game several months ago on Humble Bundle and waited to do a review on it. So today I was like, fuck it, let's play Sonic CD. Before I even started playing the game, I was greeted with this lovely start screen. Now I know that isn't much, but I hadn't played this game and didn't know what to expect, as well as my lights were off, and I literally screamed, oh fuck, at the top of my lungs. The game starts off with you picking your character, but something tells me there is the wide range of options to pick from. Your only option is to pick Sonic, and then there's a cutscene of Sonic running really fast. He's running so fast that he can do this, and the music, it just adds to it. So there's a giant ship balloon thingy and Sonic decides, let's go climb it. He runs up the little Death Star and then you start the game. But it looks like you didn't actually climb the ship because you're still on the ground. Okay, let's start the game and press space to jump and wait a minute. It's not doing anything. Oh wait, what's that? You wanted me to use Z, X, C, and V to jump? You know what would have been a smarter idea? Using freaking space to jump. But whatever, you go over the fact that jumping isn't space, and then you play. One of the things I noticed while playing was that there were past and future signs everywhere. I don't know what they did, and I think they were collectibles, but I don't know for sure. So you start playing the game, and I've gotta be honest, I really like the level design. Each level required you to think, but not like a puzzle, because you weren't solving anything. That, combined with the fast-paced platforming, made each level what it was. Perfect example of this was the title Tempest. You were underwater, so you had to manage your air while you were trying to complete the stages. It was really fun, and it required skill, unlike some other game. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so you get to a certain point and you're just running real fast, having a grand old time, right? Then all of a sudden, Sonic just starts flying in a warped, disordered green zone. And then when you return to your running, you're either in the past or the future, depending on when you just were. Honestly, it's a fun game mechanic, and I really enjoyed it, despite not knowing how to trigger it. For me, it just happened. What about the platforming? Although there were some annoying parts like the pinball stage in Collision Chaos, or that one part in the final stage of the game, I found myself really enjoying it. Especially the special parts like the shrink ray or going behind the stage. It was all fun. One thing I may add is that when you're Tiny Sonic, you look so cute. I mean, who doesn't want that thing saving the world from a freaking balloon? Nobody. That's who. And who doesn't like Tiny Tails either? I mean, come on, Eggman. You don't have to kill the children. Okay, you beat two stages and then it's boss time. And I've got to say, I really like the bosses in this game. It was one of my favorite aspects of it. Each boss is its own, and each one was really fun to beat. For instance, you have a boss that throws bombs at you on a conveyor belt. Can't stop running cause this, and you can't stay fixed running at the wall cause this. And all this time while you're running, you're sanding the bottom of his machine. But I have two bosses in particular that are my favorite, the first one being the Tidal Tempest boss. In this boss battle, you're underwater and Eggman has a shield of bubbles. This forces you to have to attack Eggman cause if you don't, you'll drown. And while you jump to destroy Eggman's shield slash get air, he is shooting balls of light at you. So you'll also have to manage your rings, cause chances are, you won't have too many. Next is Metal Sonic at Stardust Speedway, and this boss is really fun and it is really challenging. You have to keep up with Metal Sonic, cause if you don't, you are greeted with this lovely laser that is a one shot kill no matter how many rings you have. One of my favorite parts of the race is that if you're behind Metal Sonic, he will do his electric shock special that slows him down. If you're ahead of Metal Sonic, he does his jet boosters that speed him up. There are also spikes to make it even harder to be ahead of him. He can blast right through them, however, you can't. I was just gonna skip right to the final boss, but I feel this was worth mentioning. What the fuck is this background music? <laughs> Skip to the final boss, which by the way I didn't even know was the final boss until I beat him. Either way, skip to him, and on my first run, he was really agonizing. Well I mean, he was agonizing until I figured out how to actually hurt him. Then it was just a bit more fun. Beat him and then you get to another cutscene, which if I've gotta be honest, explains nothing just like the previous one. Except for the fact that Eggman explodes! And before I move on, what the fuck is this music? It's all 
sad. And then you beat the game. Yes! I finally did it! I beat Sonic CD! Well, I forgot about you. Actually, believe it or not, I found something funny. I scrolled down after I beat the game and I saw that there were two soundtracks and I was playing the Japanese one. So you can imagine when I played Tails, I used the US one and to me it sounded a little better, except for the game over screen. <laughs> While I played Tails, I realized the ability to fly made the game a lot easier. Some levels I could just fly right over and at one point I flew right into the bonus level ring. This was my first time playing the bonus level since the first time I saw it as Sonic, I missed it. So I didn't know what to expect. And what I got was F-Zero combined with Sonic. It was fucking great. I didn't even care what the objective was, all I cared about was I'm Tails, running on an F-Zero track, oh yeah! And, of course, I got zero extra points, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Tails had the same levels, so I did it a little quicker this time. The only difference is there's no beginning cutscene. You just jump right into the game. As well as there was no ending cutscene, but the credits look different. Quick! Someone! Give Sega an award! So is playing Tails a waste of my time? No. But why? Because F-Zero Tails! Okay, that was my Sonic CD review. What was my opinion on the game as a whole? I really liked it. If you want to subscribe, you can hit that little subscribe button on the screen. If you want to watch either of the videos on the screen, just click on them. It'll bring you to them, and then you can watch them. Easy as pie. Okay, I'ma just let this play out, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye guys